Yes, welcome back. I need to make a short update here uh, because there, if you confer, com, yeah, for the other uh, these uh, phrases with the, the previous video, you will see some dramatic change. Um, this little guy is still rocking. And um, the reason for this is now pulling um, under 130 micro amps, uh, and it's uh, I can't hook up any meters. I can't even check the voltage on that 16 volt 2,200 microfarad cap. Um, because it interferes with the whole circuit, it just stops. <laughs> um, that's a new toroid, and uh, this little thing here is the small capacitor for the tank circuit. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, I don't know what. What about the value it has? Um, the first one I started with was uh, 150 uh, picofarad, I believe. But this one I ha haven't got a clue, but I'm going to find out. Um, because, as you see, uh, the bottom trace is pretty much the same as before, but the upper trace is has something happening to, and uh, the monkey is. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's clicking, and that that sound indicates that it's uh, going the full extension of its uh, swing. It's like a pendulum in there. Which means it's consuming approximately 100, 150 milliamps. I don't know. All I know is uh, when I hook it up to a single uh, AA battery, it moves and sounds the same. And uh, Randy, it's uh, been driven by a AA. Uh, single double A, 1.5 volts, so it's not uh, uh, running itself. It's a cool circuit. Yeah. Bye for now. Maybe I'll post a video in the weekend here. I'm going out prospecting with a friend. Yeah. Thank you for watching. And the last shot at the...